Good morning. وخير ما نبتدئ به هذه المناسبة الكريمة أي من الذكر الحكيم يقرأه علينا الأخ محمد رضا المضفر باللغة العربية فليتفضل مصحوبا بالصلاة على محمد وآل محمد. صل على محمد وآل محمد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Yeah. 
Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu jitanibu kathiran min afdan Kathiran min afdan ولا تجسسوا ولا يغتب بعضكم بعضا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لحم أخيه من so that you may receive his mercy. O oh, you who have faith, let not any people ridicule another people. It may be that they are better than they are, nor let women ridicule another woman. It may be that they are better than they are, and do not defame one another, nor insult one another by calling nicknames. How evil are profound nicknames subsequent to faith. As for those who are not penitent, such as the wrongdoers, O oh, you who have faith, avoid much suspicious. Indeed, some suspicions are sins, and do not spy on one another or backbite. Will any of you love to eat the flesh of his dead brother? You would hate it. Be wary of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Indeed, Allah is all clement, all merciful. O mankind, indeed, we created you from a male and a female, and made you nations and tribes. 
that you may identify yourself with one another. Indeed, the noblest of you in the sight of Allah is the God weary among you. Indeed, Allah is all knowing, all aware. Sadaqallahu al-Aliyya al-Azim. Nahdi ma qara'ana ruhi marhum. Anthony Dia, Allah sabbar ahlu. Wa nahdi a'ruhi wa ruha muati hadirin. Surat al-Mubarakat al-Fatiha. Masbukatan bil-salati ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين. Good morning, the honourable dear family, respected clergy, public and elected officials, community leaders, and ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. My name is Khalil Hashim. I'm, the, I'm your MC for the, today's event. We thank you for joining us to commemorate a hero who paid the ultimate price for his dedication to his duty. Just like before I ask one of his colleagues to tell us a little bit more about who was Officer Dia, I'd just like to remind our speakers, since we're pressed on time, to keep your comments short if possible. I also like to very quickly uh, recognize some of our uh, public officials are here. You're all dear to us, but it's customary that we recognize uh, some of our public officials. Uh, I'd like to recognize Judge uh, Salim Salemi, Commissioner Sam Beydoun, Council Member Bill Bezzi, Council Member Dave uh, Abdullah, and Police Chief uh, uh, Brian Hadad. Um, I, I also like to welcome the uh, uh, delegations from uh, Toledo as well. Um, I understand that uh, the mayor is on his way here as well. Again, this is a very important event to our community because we are commemorating and celebrating a hero to all of us. And to learn more about it, I'd like to ask uh, Muhammad Nasser to share some information about it. يقول الله في كتابه الكريم وقوله الحق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أمواتا بل أحياء عند ربهم يرزقون صدق الله عليه العظيم Respected brothers and sisters I greet you all with the Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, blessings, and mercy of Allah be upon you all. I was fortunate enough to know the Shaheed Officer Anthony Hussein Dia before he joined the Toledo Police Department. He was a great family man and a humble and dear friend of you. He was absolutely someone you can trust, and he had a heart full of love. As a police officer, Anthony Dia touched the hearts of many and developed an outstanding relationship with his community. He had a true passion for law enforcement and died doing what he loved. It's not easy, easy to fathom 
the thought that we will not be able to see him again. Nor is it easy to grasp that we will never be able to speak to one another again. However, the true relief, the true relief is that you will remain in our hearts forever. And you will always remain in our thoughts and in our prayers. Officer Anthony Dia lived by a code, lived like Imam Ali, and died like Imam Hussein. An extremely simple code that helps the human being attain a high elevation in this life and in the hereafter. It means to live with dignity, respect, and love. It means to live in bravery and to promote that which is right and that which is wrong. And, and forbid that which is wrong. It means to live assisting the community with your utmost ability. It means to live protecting all of humanity. It means to live giving back and remaining just. It means to live loving your family and to be there for your friends. It means to live loving your Lord and to remain God conscious. It means to live asking for forgiveness and being able to forgive others. It means to live learning. It means to live teaching. It means dying with honor. It means to die knowing you gave it your all. It means to die doing the right thing. It means to die for the just cause, for the right cause. It means to die performing an act which pleases the Almighty. It means to die leaving behind an honorable memory allowing the nation to commemorate you forever. Officer Anthony Leon was not only my brother in arms, he was also my brother in faith. He left us all with a message. Unit 118, tell my family I love them. A message which will echo for as long as there is life on this earth. We also would like to send you a message, my brother Anthony. We are asking the Lord Almighty to tell you that we love you, that we appreciate you and that we will always honor you. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad When Sayyid Kashmiri learned about the unfortunate incident, he called me and he said we should commemorate this hero because the, the, these are the, the kind of heroes that we should use as an example in our community for those who are faithful to their community, to their faith, to their family. 
this is what Imam, the Imam organization really does. The Imam organization, organization is honored to host this event to commemorate Officer Anthony Hussein Dia. The Imam Mahdi Association of Marja'iya, known as Imam, serves as the liaison organization of the Supreme Religious Authority, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Sistani in North America. Imam is devoted to building a strong community and serving the Muslim communities in North America on the religious, spiritual, educational, or in social levels. Imam's guiding principles include knowledge, faith, integrity, diversity, collaboration, and progress. And now we will continue with His Eminence, the Vice Chairman of the Imam Organization, His Eminence, Sayyid Kashmiri Ba'da Salati Ala Muhammad Wa Ali Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of God, the most merciful, the most beneficent. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Respected dear family, scholars, officials, law firms, firefighters, leaders, and community members. Again, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you all, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allow me to begin by giving my sincere and deep condolences and sympathy on the tragic loss of hero, of a hero, Officer Anthony Hussein Dia, who has left us and he is with Lord Almighty. To us, Officer Dia, wasn't just a man who lived for an era in this life and lived just like many others. To us, Officer Mdia was a great example and role model for all American Muslims. He is a great example of infidelity and loyalty. He was loyal to his country, his faith, his community, and his family. Remember, his last words were, tell my family I love them. Love is an Islamic principle. Love brings peace and kills haters and racism. It's narrated to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he said, dinu illa al-hub. What does religion mean but love? Also, he said, Hubbul Watani min al Iman. Loving your country comes out from your faith. It is essential to recognize the characteristics of Dia, Officer Dia that he was a role model for all, for all our youth. When it comes to the land, he was the symbol of loyalty uh, to his country. When it comes to religion, he was a symbol of loyalty to his faith. In summary, we should learn from his loyalty and teach our children from his lessons. This is the loyalty and love that could bring a better coexistence in our diverse society, unite all of us under the roof of justice and peace, and stop injustice and racism. On behalf of the Imam organization, I would like to thank the family for giving us the opportunity to commemorate our son and our brother, Officer Anthony Hussein Dia, as well as I would like to thank you all for attending and, and participating today. O oh Lord Almighty, send your blessing and show your mercy on Saul of Anthony. 
Our Lord Almighty give his beautiful family, especially his faithful wife, Jamie, and their two handsome boys with patience and reward. Al Fatima, We will continue with a short poem by Adam al Maliki by the Salati Ala Muhammad or Ali Muhammad. Strength in tribute of Anthony D. The blood of our fallen hero we are commemorating today will not go in vain, for it will be the light that removes people from darkness and enters them into the light of faith, unity, and love. Anthony Hussein Dia's life was cut short, but his message of love and care will be forever immortalized. The tragedy of our fallen hero reminded me of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. For when he stood, strength radiated, unfazed from the imminent attack of 30,000 oppressive soldiers. His strength and love burst out and motivated those around him to sacrifice everything for a goal that will save generations. Anthony Dia was motivated and served his community. Anthony Dia fought for the safety and tranquility of the people and gave his life on the nation's day in the line of duty. It makes my blood boil that it takes one's life to remove the veil of ignorance from the eyes of people. Once more, the sacrifice of Anthony Dia is far from in vain for it vaporized the haze of hatred off of people's eyes. Tell my family I love them was his last message. He was motivated by God in a heart filled with love for his family and community. His belief manifested itself in the role model, father, son, husband, and incredible selfless person we knew as Anthony, we know as Anthony Dia. Thank you. Salaam Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Now we're going to move into brief remarks by some of our public officials. We're going to start with Wayne County Commissioner Sam Baydoun. To the podium by the Salat Allah Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Distinguished spiritual leaders, elected officials, family members of the beloved police officer Dia and the community members, brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum. <coughs> on July 5th, minutes after speaking to his wife on the phone, Officer Anthony Dia's life was tragically taken as he responded to a call as his life was being taken by a senseless act of violence by an intoxicated man. Millions of Americans were celebrating Independence Day. A day celebrating freedom in a country where everyone is entitled to liberty, peace, and safety for their families and themselves. We cannot appreciate those freedoms 
without recognizing those who put their lives on the line every day to protect all of us. Officer Dia served and put his life on the line for the residents of Toledo to ensure that they are living in peace and security. As elected officials and community members, we need to stand up and voice our appreciation and support for those who leave their families to protect our families. Officer Dia leaves behind his wife, Jamie Dia, his two beautiful children, Eunice and Maytham, and his father and other family members. We owe it to Eunice and to Maytham to do what we need to ensure our police officers are protected when they are on the job. When police officers leave their homes, the last thing they need to think about is whether they will be making it back home safely to see their families. We need to ensure our police officers have the best training so that they are protected and can properly serve their communities. I will do everything I can to ensure every officer in Wayne County is protected and remains safe as they ensure Wayne County is safe and secure for families to live and grow. Officer Dia's last, uh, Officer Dia's last words were, and I quote, please tell my family I love them. In memory of Officer Dia and all the brave men and women who lost their lives in the line of duty, we need to all work collectively and properly educate our communities and thrive to be the best neighbors we can be. Our thoughts and prayers are with the Dia family, the Toledo Police Department, and the entire city of Toledo as they go through this difficult time. Again, on behalf of the entire Wayne County Commission, we extend our sincere condolences to his father, to his wife, and all of his family members. His mother. I'm sorry, and to your mother, to his mother as well. Uh, to Officer Dia, was looking down on all of us. We say thank you for your service and may God protect your family that you left behind. Al we continue with. Dearborn Heights Council Member Bill Bessie, Lada Salat Allah Muhammad Ali. You like to say? Salam alaikum. I was not prepared to uh, make a speech, but. Uh, uh, everything that I've heard about Officer Dia, about everything that he sacrificed, and uh, all the love that I've seen or heard, you know, in the last uh, few days, you know, since his, uh, he was taken from us, uh, people like myself, you know, we, we feel it. You know, it comes close to home. You know, somebody who's actually served in the military, and uh, somebody who actually cares about, as was mentioned by uh, Commissioner Sandra Dillon. Uh, by his community, by his family. You know, all, so my respect for the family, you know, his wife, you know, his children. You know, God bless you. And uh, anything you need, you know, we're here for you. And uh, again, you know, as we say, you know, thank, yeah, we thank Officer Dia for his service, and he'll always be in our heart. Thank you. Thank you. Now we continue with Dearborn Police Chief uh, Brother Chief Ron Haddad, uh, Ali Salati Ali Muhammad Ali Muhammad. Chief Haddad also will be presenting proclamations to the family. You know, good morning. Well, let me say that uh, I've listened to all the speeches this morning, and truly, Anthony Dia was a loving man. He was a great father, a great son to both of you, a great police officer, a great community member. He was deep in his faith, which 
which set a bar very high for all people of all faiths. He could have been anything in life, but he chose to be a police officer two years ago. And what's more incredible about that, he was 2020 vision. He saw what was going on in Ferguson. He saw what was going on in Baltimore. He saw what was going on in LA. He knew that he was joining a profession that is less than one half of 1% of the entire population to keep the United States of America safe. All 350 million of us. He also knew that he could make more money in another profession. And he also knew that he wasn't going to be greatly appreciated by the masses. But yet, he took on the job because he also knew he could make a difference. You hear all this stuff about police reform coming. I can tell you that I work on a uh, national committee to try to bring back some sense to America. And on our Tuesday call, I'm going to recommend and very forcefully push my colleagues across the country to name our white paper after this young officer. So we're going to call this paper with the permission of all the colleagues from across the country the Anthony Tony Hussein Dia paper. Because I think if this country is to survive, if our profession is to get to where it has to be, there is no finer example than their father, your husband, your son, brother. And my great faith tells me that I'm going to see my young brother again. And when I do, I'm going to salute him. And I'm going to tell him, well done. Well done. On behalf of our Mayor John B. O'Reilly Jr., our 98,153 citizens here, I'm going to present to the family a proclamation of his life and a condolence. And I can tell you that I've done this for 48 years now, and Anthony is pushing me to a higher ground. So God bless him, God bless you, and thank you. God bless you. Take a moment uh, until the chief presents the proclamation to the family. Sympathy. She was unable to attend today because of travel. Also, Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib also is traveling. She sends her condolences. She was unable to attend as well. We thank them for their letters and their thoughts and, and for, at this moment. I would like now to ask Hussein Shai to join me to the podium to introduce the uh, Ohio delegation by the Salati Allah Muhammad Wa'ala Muhammad. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and merciful. Good morning, peace be upon you all, brothers and sisters. I would like to thank you all for coming out, for participating in this special event. I'd also like to extend our special thanks to the Association of Imam, Representative 
of the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Sistani, to all board members led by Eminence Sayyid Muhammad Baqir al Kashmiri, Sheikh al Halabi, all the board members, all everybody that's here. I would also like to extend our, our thanks to our honorable and respected mayors of Dearborn, of Toledo, our respected chief of police of Dearborn and Toledo, all the government officials, all the city officials, we would like to say thank you for your kind and sincere condolences and special thanks to the law enforcement. And this means a lot to us. We really appreciate you and we appreciate your services. I'd like to also thank all the religious leaders from various religious centers, local and in Toledo. Thank you for participating. Thank you for this. We really appreciate that. And God bless you all. protection cannot be sought except while one is in it. The station which is performed only for this world cannot secure salvation. The action which is performed for this world cannot secure salvation. People are tested through calamities. Those who have taken worldly pleasures here will be taken out from them by death and will be questioned about them. And whatever good actions they have achieved for the other world they will get them there, and it will stay with them. For the intelligent, this world is like a shade. One moment it is spread out and extended, but soon it shrinks and contracts. And now the words of Anthony Dio. Keep in mind, he wrote this during Ramadan, this past Ramadan, 2020. My final words to my family. Anthony Sandil. 
I am typing this letter in case one day I do not make it home from work or pass away unexpectedly. If you're reading this, this means I am no longer here. I hope my family can find some solace in this letter. I'll attempt to address all my loved ones in this letter, as well as my belongings and property. My son Eunice, when I found out your mother was pregnant with you, I was so nervous. I was still just a boy myself and couldn't possibly imagine raising a child. Prior to you being born, I got a job on my 18th birthday. It was hard work, but every day I showed up with the thought of you in mind, motivating me to continue so I could support you. When you were born, it was the greatest moment of my life, the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I truly believe Allah had it planned this way because becoming a father changed me so much for the better. There's so much I want to teach you and your brother, but since you're reading this, I may not have been able to teach you all, all the things. I am typing this in the holy month of Ramadan, 2020. This month is a time of reflection, and I have thought a lot about death in this month and being prepared for the end of this journey. Take care of your mother and brother for me. You are the man of the house now. I love you so much, and I'm proud of you. You and your brother are the reason I woke up every day, and the reason I was here. My son, Maytham, you will always be my baby no matter how old you get. Every day, you and your brother make, make me laugh and bring so much joy to my life. Please look after your mother as well. She will need you and Eunice during this time. I want you to know that I am so proud of you. You are so smart and caring for others. You are both so much better than I ever deserved, and I can only thank God for that. May you both please forgive me for my shortcomings. I know I wasn't always the best dad, and I may have been harder on you than, than I should have been. I hope, you are, I hope our good times far outweigh any of our bad times. My sons, my advice for you is this. <clears throat> Hold tight to the robe of Allah and Ahd al-Bayt. Do your prayers every day and maintain your belief in Allah and Islam. Continue in your entire life to be the Shia of Ali. Alayhi as salam. As you were born as you were born, both born with this right, which is a blessing not many are born with. Study your religion and keep the books in English I have gathered to learn from them. Never be ashamed of your faith and state your beliefs to others with confidence but also with humility. Learn Allah's book and the life of Prophet Muhammad, may he rest in peace, and Ahl al-Bayt Maintain relations with your family, even those relatives who do not believe such as us. When you have doubts about your religion or Allah, pray to him and study these books and you will almost always find an answer to your questions from these. I pray you go to college and get some sort of degree. I pray to each of you have a family one day and also children of your own. Your mother would love to be a grandma. I pray you raise your children on the same principles and faith I have raised you, but also with the humor and, playful and playfulness we always had. I love you both with everything in me. My wife, Jamie, we have been through so much together. You were always the best wife a man could ask for, always supporting me in all things. You never asked for much, but gave much in return to myself and our children. You are truly the love of my life, and I know I did not tell you that as much as I probably should have. I apologize for my shortcomings and hope you forgive me. Please continue to raise our children on the right path. We, have, we may not have been perfect, but I don't think we were doing that bad. I hope you can be happy in this world. I hope you get to become a grandmother and live a long, happy life after I am gone. I am sure that sounds impossible right now, but maybe in time I pray. I love you and our sweet boys with everything in me. I am sorry that I am gone sooner than I wanted to be. Every soul has to taste death, and this is when Allah wanted me to return. I love you so much. My mother and father. 
You guys were the best parents I could ask for growing up. Baba, you were like Superman to me growing up. I looked up to you always. You were my real life superhero. Mom, you were always there for me when I needed you. You both were. I hope you both forgive me for all the headaches and pain I caused you both and when I was growing up. I love you both so much. My siblings, Layla, I know I never say it, but I love you. You are a great sister and even a better aunt. Forgive me for being a jerk sometimes when we were younger. Ali and Haida, I love you both. Stay close with Eunice and Mayhem. You guys, you guys all growing up together is so amazing to see. I hope that maybe if I passed away at work, that Allah will forgive me and accept me among the martyrs. Every day I put on the uniform. It was with the intention to protect the weak and innocent in my community from evil. I hope also that if I was shot, I was able to take the shooter with me. I hope I died with bravery. Please recite Surah Yasin at my grave and please pray that Allah forgives me for my sins. I have lived a fulfilling life and accomplished all anyone could ask for. I have no complaints and thank Allah every day for what He has blessed me with. I could go on and on in this letter to my loved ones, but I'll stop here. I hope with time this gets easier for you all. Lastly, for my property, I leave everything I own to my wife, Jamie Diop. May she distribute it as she sees fit. Please make sure the boys get the books and academics and anything else they may ask for from time to time. This is not our final goodbye. I know that one day we will see each other again, but until then, I will ask Allah to let me visit all of you as much as possible and watch over you as much as I can. From Allah we come, and to Allah we shall return. Al-Fatiha. Salla ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. We're gonna conclude with a few words from Yunus Tony Shai, Father Salati ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad.
I will tell everybody, Alhamdulillah, now we have sabr. I don't know how you translate now, man. Blessing, we have blessing, Alhamdulillah. Um, you know, I heard the chief speaking about, you know, police defunding, and I've heard a lot of it in the last, you know, several months. And I actually had a rally in Toledo a couple days before my son was killed. And I'm usually not that guy to go do rallies and protests and uh, I don't know, you know I'll, I think I, I really believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's the one that pushed me to do that because I'm just not that person. I've never done anything like that. And uh, we had about a dozen people out there, it wasn't many. You know, but when, when I hear defunding police, I, just, I can't comprehend whether it's police or first responders, EMS, firefighters, anybody, it makes no logical sense to me. That option should never be put on the table. And uh, I mean, it just shouldn't. It makes zero sense. I mean, there's other options, there's other ways of cutting back. Um, but defunding police or our first responders is, is a zero option, in my opinion. You know, being short, Several police officers could cost a police officer his life. You know, not having the proper equipment could cause a police officer to lose his life. Or in the case of first responders, for instance, you know, they may even lose their life or they might not have the proper equipment to save a life. So, you know, I reach out to all the delegates throughout the country, the whole defunding police remove it off the table, or, or first responders, remove it off the table, it makes no sense. What these people, what these men and women do, they save lives, they run into, they run towards danger when everybody else runs away from it. So uh, let's give them everything they need to protect themselves and protect everybody else. And that's all I can say, I'm gonna keep pushing forward for it. Um, I'm going to make all the noise I can make. You know, nobody, you know, the cities don't pay my paycheck so I can, I can push back and I can make a lot of noise because they can't fire me. But defunding police or defunding first responders is an absolute no and I'm not going to tolerate it. And I'm just going to keep pushing forward and see what happens. But thank you again. Thank you for the service. It was beautiful. I'm sorry, Habib. Anthony had a, Anthony's rule. Oh, we're working on a, a law it's called Anthony's rule. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about it because I don't like shoving anything down any officers, officers' throats where it's always a two-man crew. I know there's a lot of officers though that, you know, they're grown men, they're older women, and they should be able to decide whether they want to be a one-man or a two-man. Um, so that's still in the works. Again, I don't, I'm the person that, I don't want to shove anything down any grown person's throat. So, uh, we'll be hearing, you guys, everybody will be hearing more about it in the near future. Once we figure it out, figure out how we can try to implement uh, Anthony's rule, inshallah. Thank you again. Assalamu alaikum. Rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Thank you. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. On behalf of the family, on behalf of the Mamma organization, and on behalf of the community, we thank you for being here. We ask the Lord to bless Anthony and to give his family the strength to cope with their loss. Their loss is our loss. Again, we want to thank you for being here. Al-Fatiha.